we're doing some trig. This is the introduction to trig. Trigonometry. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got distracted. You should take some notes. Okay. Degrees and radians is the topic at hand today. Let's go. Math with the speed. Math with the speed. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with the Speed. All right, so what is a radian? Basically, a radian is the measure of the central angle of a circle that intercepts an arc equal in length to the radius of the circle. So pay attention to the little picture. Do you see the picture? The circle, excuse me, pay attention to the circle. This length, which is the radius, is equal to the blue length, which is the arc. That's what the little key on the right says. Basically, a radian is when the length of the, pur the purple radius equals the length of the blue arc. That's what a radian is. If a circle equals 360 degrees, which most of us know, that means 360 degrees equals two pi radians. So if we chop that in half, 180 degrees equals pi radians. And that is the conversion that we need the most right now. All right, so when we're converting between degrees and radians, there's two proportions that we need to pay attention to. Pi radians over 180 degrees. That one I use when I'm starting with degrees and I want to end in radians. And then the second proportion that we want to pay attention to is 180 degrees over pi radians. And this is when I'm starting with radians and wanting to end in degrees. Okay? So take a little snapshot of that. Those are going to be important. So let's say I need to convert 30 degrees into radians. We're going to use our appropriate proportion, which is pi radians, over 180 degrees. And we're going to multiply that by 30 degrees. So what we're going to end up getting is that our degrees are going to cancel out because one's on the top, one's on the bottom, right? And I'm going to get 30 pi over 180. We're going to go ahead and simplify 30 over 180, and we're going to get pi over 6 radians as our answer. Ta-da! It's really that simple. So let's talk about 90 degrees. So same thing. We're going to multiply the appropriate proportion times 90 degrees you're going to go ahead and cancel out, we're going to get 90 pi over 180. We're going to simplify that, and we're going to get pi over 2. Radians. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing, but with a negative 135 degrees. First of all, of course, my degrees are going to cancel out. Swipe, swipe. Negative 135 pi over 180. I'm going to simplify. I'm going to get negative 3 pi over 4 radians. It's really that easy. Okay, so your job is for you to do 60, 270, and negative 300 on your own. Yeah. 60, 270, negative 300 on your own. 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 You should pause the video. Pause the video, the video. Okay, I hope you pause the video. I'm about to go through these quick. Doop, 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 doop. Power over three. Yes. Boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. Three power over two. Boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. Five power over three. Okay. So, of course, we went one way. So, of course, what are we going to do? We got to go the other way. So, we're going to convert radians to degrees. So, we have pi over 3, negative 5 pi over 3, and 1 radian. Okay? So, we're going to use the appropriate proportion. This time, pay attention because the 180 is on top and the pi radians is on the bottom, which is important. So, we're going to multiply by pi over 3. And what's going to happen is the radians are going to cancel out. So, pi swipes out, swipe out. And I'm going to get 180 over 3. And we're going to simplify. And get 60. So easy, right? Okay, 
So now we'll do negative 5 pi over 3. Radians are going to go ahead and cancel out. So pi cancels out pi, radians, radians. So I'm going to get 5 times 180 over 3. When I simplify that, I'm going to get negative 300. This is really quick, right? Slide 13 out of 16. Multiply by 1. What? Just 1? Just 1, Jow. Radians cancel out. I get 180 degrees over pi. Simplify that. I'm going to get 57.3 degrees. One radian is approximately 57.3 degrees. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to do these three on your own. So pause the video, please and thank you. See if you can do them on your own, and then we'll be done with this video. Okay, hopefully you pause the video. We're gonna do these quick. Pi over four, radians cancel out. So I'm gonna get 180 over four and that's gonna be 45 degrees. Um, we're gonna do negative four pi over three. Radians cancel out. I'm gonna get negative four times 180, divide that by three. I'm gonna get negative 240. And then last but not least, we're gonna do six. <laughs> radians. Um, there's no pi's to cancel out, uh, so I'm going to get 6 times 180 over pi, right? I'm going to simplify, and I'm going to get 343.8 degrees. And that's radians to degrees in a nutshell. Ah. <laughs> I don't know why I just made that noise, but that's the end of the video. If you um, go back through the video, make sure you try to, sorry. Go back through the video, <laughs> see if you can do it without my help. Um, so, and you should have been taking notes this whole time anyway. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, but not before you like, subscribe, comment, and do all of those things and make sure you tell um, your other classmates and other people who's taking these subjects about this channel. Okay? <laughs> all right, bye y'all.